Two months ago, scientists announced the San Andreas Fault is due for another major earthquake, specifically in Southern California. From the sun-drenched landscapes of Southern California, where beauty and danger coexist, lies a silent force that has the potential to unleash unparalleled devastation. The San Andreas Fault. Stretching over 800 miles through the heart of California, this fault line, where the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate meet, is not just a line on the map. It's a ticking time bomb, silently accumulating pressure and hinting at the impending disaster that could reshape the region's future. The San Andreas Fault. Picture the sprawling, sun-kissed landscapes of California, where beneath the surface lies a geological marvel that both fascinates and terrifies the San Andreas Fault. This continental transform fault, like an intricate dance choreographed by nature, winds its way through the picturesque California terrain, delineating the boundary between the massive Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. Divided into three distinct segments, northern, central, and southern, the San Andreas Fault is not merely a static line on a map. Instead, it orchestrates a mesmerizing dance between these colossal tectonic plates. The plates engage in a slow lateral slip motion, gracefully gliding past each other at a rate of 20 to 35 millimeters per year. This seemingly unhurried movement belies the immense forces at play beneath the Earth's surface. The northern and central segments bear the scars of catastrophic earthquakes, etching the Earth's story with seismic intensity. In contrast, the southern portion has, for the most part, remained calm and composed, intriguing experts who closely monitor its every subtle movement. The story of the San Andreas Fault dates back to 1895, when UC Berkeley professor Andrew Lawson stumbled upon its northern zone. Named after the surrounding San Andreas Valley, this fault line is a testament to the intricate geological processes that have been shaping the Californian landscape for millions of years. As one stands on the surface, it's challenging to fathom the eons of time and the silent, relentless forces that have crafted the terrain we see today. As if following a cosmic choreography, the San Andreas Fault has not just held its ground, but over the years, subtly adjusted its position. The fault, compelled by the relentless tectonic dance, has jogged westward. This seemingly planned movement is more than just an adjustment. It's a remarkable natural phenomenon that has captivated both scientific minds and the general public. The fault's journey is not just geological, it's a visual testament to the dynamic nature of our planet. Tectonic Plates As the plates continue their slow ballet, their interaction becomes a dynamic dialogue etched in Earth's surface. This geological dance is not only a spectacle for researchers and scholars, but also a living testament to the constant evolution of our planet. The San Andreas Fault is a living, breathing entity responding to the intricate forces that shape the world beneath our feet. Living on the Fault Line For Californians, the San Andreas Fault isn't an abstract concept found in textbooks. It's a stark reality. Many towns, communities, and even major transportation lifelines, such as Interstate 5, are perched atop this infamous fracture. It's not just a line on a map, it's the very ground they build their homes upon, the roads they traverse daily, and the heartbeat of the region's interconnected infrastructure. As the tectonic plates, those silent juggernauts beneath the Earth's surface, engage in a relentless grind against each other, the potential for a major earthquake looms large. The ground they walk on, the buildings they inhabit, and the highways they rely on are all part of a ticking time bomb. Scientists, whose gaze is fixed upon the fault line like watchmen in the night, express their unease. Densely developed areas sprawl over most of the fault line, creating a precarious scenario where countless lives are at risk. To truly comprehend the raw power concealed beneath the surface, one must embark on a journey northward on Interstate 5 until reaching the formidable Tijan Pass. Here, amidst the breathtaking vistas, the evidence of tectonic forces at play is laid bare. A trail of gray quartz marzenite and brown sediment sandstone and silicon tells a silent tale of the place's relentless grinding movement. The landscape bears witness to the geological ballet occurring beneath the surface. Each rock, each layer of sediment, 
is a testament to the forces shaping the world in ways that surpass human comprehension. Among these layers lies the Fault Gouge, a layer of black rock, a stark reminder of the formidable forces that shape our world. As observers stand amidst this geological theater, the magnitude of the silent struggle between tectonic plates becomes palpable. The Catastrophe Waiting to Unfold The San Andreas Fault, beyond its allure as a geological wonder, presents a haunting reality. It is a potential catastrophe waiting to happen. The very ground supporting vital transportation routes, exemplified by Interstate 5, could become the epicenter of disaster. In the event of a major earthquake, the fault's wrath could sever these lifelines, leaving thousands stranded and communities isolated. The Elkhorn Scarp, nestled in the central California Valley, serves as a stark testament to the true power of this geological marvel. A dramatic dip between the two plates not only alters the land, but also influences local waterways as well. The consequences of such a seismic event extend beyond mere geological transformations. They cascade into disruptions that ripple through the intricate web of human existence. Seismologists warn that the southern portion of the San Andreas Fault is overdue for a major release of stress, with the last significant earthquake occurring in 1857. The increasing stress caused by the Pacific Plate's faster movement than the North American Plate raises concerns about the fault's readiness to unleash a catastrophic quake. Scientists estimate such earthquakes occur once every couple of centuries, making it a matter of when, not if, the next one will strike. Various models and environmental scientists predict catastrophic consequences if a hypothetical 7.8 magnitude earthquake were to hit California. A groundbreaking earthquake simulation created by the California Academy of Sciences outlines the potential aftermath, emphasizing the significant impact on infrastructure. Seismologist Thomas Jordan's warning that the southern portion of the San Andreas Fault is locked, loaded, and ready to go adds urgency to the conversation. While some argue that the predictions might be overstated, the implications of a major earthquake are profound. The destruction of buildings, the potential for fires, and the aftermath of such an event could lead to an estimated $200 billion in damages, 50,000 injuries, and 2,000 casualties. If you're liking the video so far, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Lessons from History California's history is marked by seismic events, each leaving an indelible impact on the region. The 1857 Tijuana earthquake, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake, the 1957 San Andreas Fault earthquake, and the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake all serve as reminders of the state's vulnerability to seismic activity. The 1906 earthquake, in particular, stands out as one of the deadliest natural disasters in California's history, claiming over 3,000 lives and causing property losses equivalent to over $8 billion today. Geological studies provide valuable insights into earthquake prediction methods, with some success in forecasting seismic gaps where earthquakes are likely to occur. The southern part of the San Andreas Fault, near Parkfield, is a crucial area for research, experiencing moderate-sized earthquakes approximately every 20 to 22 years. Scientists hope to identify warning signs through changes in the Earth's surface, such as shortening survey lines, elevation changes, and alterations in strain meters placed in various wells. Recognizing the inevitability of earthquakes, California is implementing strategies to minimize the impact. Building structures designed to resist shaking, strengthening communication and power systems, and preparing for emergency scenarios are critical steps. However, the magnitude of the challenge requires collective efforts, including retrofitting older structures and individual preparedness measures. As Californians live in the shadow of the San Andreas Fault, the question remains, are they adequately prepared for the inevitable? The threat of the big one looms large, demanding constant vigilance and proactive measures. Whether the next major earthquake will be as catastrophic as predicted or bring unexpected challenges, well, only time will tell. So what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comment section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.